Hello everyone, I'm Reen Hound Zero. Today we're going to be talking about Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, setting up, having an all-female directing team, and revealing the episode count for Season 2. Because that definitely is going to make the show that much better. No, not fo following the lore, getting people who actually know Tolkien's work. No, th those are things that will actually make this better. No, we're just going to say, oh yeah, we have female directors. That'll somehow make our, this terrible show better. Uh, I guess. <laughs> so we'll read this article from Deadline titled The Lord of the Rings Rings of Power sets all female directing team reveals episode count for season two, which by the way the title of this show is just absolutely horrendous. The upcoming second season of Amazon Studios, The Lord of the Rings Rings of Power, which is currently in production in the UK, will be directed by Charlotte Bradstrom, who is coming back after helming two episodes in season one, as well as Sana Hamry and Louise Hooper who are new to the franchise, which she helmed these two episodes and they suck. So, the announcement also indirectly confirmed that season two will consist of the same number of episodes as season one, eight. In season one, Bradstrom was the only female director. In season two, she's leading an all female directing group team. Who cares? Do they have the experience to film, to direct Lord of the Rings? Probably not. They've probably only got hired on because they're women, not because they have any experience in Tolkien's work or in actual directing, but. That's current day Hollywood nowadays. Bradstrom who directed episodes 106, Udon, which features season one's big battle scene in the Mount Doom's eruption, and the 107 and 107 The Eye, which chronicled its aftermath, will be directing four episodes and will also serve as co-executive producer this season. I believe these episodes might have been the episodes that the viewers dropped significantly, but I haven't really kept up, so. She is taking over the lead director position from Wayne Chi, Yip, who directed four episodes including the finale and co-executive produced season one. Yip and Bradstrom took over from J.A. Bayona, who directed the opening two episodes of the Fantasy Saga and also served as its executive producer. Which, by the way, Amazon's about to do a God of War adaptation and I'm sure they're going to fuck that up too. Hamry and Hooper will each be directing two episodes in season one. Bradstrom and Hamry also have overall deals with Amazon Studios. Developed by J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, set in the Second Age of Middle-earth, thousands of years before the events of Lord of the Rings films and the novels by J.R.R. Tolkien. Beginning in a time of relevant peace, the series follows an ensemble cast of characters both familiar and new as they confront the long-feared re-emergence of evil to Middle-earth. Per Amazon, the first season of Rings of Power has been viewed by more than 100 million worldwide, with more than 24 billion <clears throat> minutes streamed. Meanwhile, they were beat by House of the Dragon, so really the numbers are probably bullshit the series drew more than 25 million global viewers on its first day marking the biggest premiere in the history of prime video and also debuted as number one show on nielsen's overall streaming charts in its opening weekend which like i said it actually dropped very badly on the nielsen charts and was getting beat out by house of the dragon because it was so bad season two of the series is produced by showrunners and executive producers Payne and McKay, Lindsay Weber, Callum Drinking, Justin Doble, Jason Cahill, and Jennifer, I guess, Jennifer Hutchinson, also produ executive produce, along with co executive producer Bradstrom, producers ha Kate Hazel and Helen Shang. It's like, it's just like Star Trek when they have like a thousand executive producers or producers to, to thank during this show. It's like, holy crap. And co producers Andrew Lee. Matthew Penry Davy and Claire Buxton. Bradstrom recently finished directing a pilot for Netflix Sweden titled The Unlikely Murderer, and her other TV directing credits include The Outsiders for HBO, Jupiter's Legacy, which was shit, The Witcher, which was quite shit, and Away for Netflix, The Man in the High Castle for Prime, that was good, Outlander, and Counterpart for Stars. Bradstrom, so more shit than good. Bradstrom also directed two European limited series, Conspiracy of Silence for Viaplay and Disparu for FR2 and has also directed over 30 feature films, mini series, and movies of the week. She is an international Emmy Award nominee for Julie Chevalier de Maupin. Are any of them fantasy though? That's 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 the question. It doesn't seem like any of those are actual fantasy shows besides like The Witcher and maybe Jupiter's Legacy, which The Witcher's quite shit. And plus, the, the lead actor Henry Cavill, who is a big fan of the Witcher series, left the show anyway, so it's going to be even more shit. Hammond and said executive produced, uh, completed executive producing and directing The Wheel of Time's second season, which was shit. Previously, Hammond was executive producer and director for Fox's series 
Empire, which was good for a while. The first three seasons, it was I think it was season five though. It, it just went completely woken off the rails. It's all girl boss and bullshit, even though that's not what the show is about. And her episodic television directly in credits include Shameless, Rectified Nashville Elementary, Glee, and Desperate Housewives, which once again sounds like all drama shows and stuff like that. Henry was also an accomplished music theater director, helmed Mariah Carey's concert documentary The Adventures of Mimi, and he also has directed the features Something New, The Sister of Charlie Pants 2, and Just Right, which I think the second Sister of Charlie Pants was trash. Hooper is the first one was good. Hooper is known for the four-part limited thriller Flesh and Blood, starring Imelda Stalton and Stephen Stephen Ree and Cheat. The four time again, the four-part drama starring Molly Windsor. Again, all drama stuff. Her additional directing credits include the first season finale of Neil Gaiman's Sandman, which I believe got canceled. The Witcher, which wasn't it wasn't fantastic, it was decent. Too much Siri, not enough not enough Geralt. It's called The Witcher, not Siri. <laughs> Inside Number Nine and Treason, Hooper began her career directing BBC arts th- documentaries, working with David Lynch, Helmut Newton, Arthur Miller, David Attenborough, and Bjork, and also has received the BAFTA nomination for directing Our Gay Wedding the Musical. So once again, seems like the people there working on this show seem to have experience in directing, but not directing fantasy besides like The Witcher and Jupiter's Legacy. So doesn't seem to be good. I don't think this is going to be good. It seems like they're just continuing to go down to double down on the on the trash and just hiring people who are not experienced at that much in making fantasy and even knowing anything about Lord of the Rings. I heard nothing about their experience about Lord of the Rings. They mentioned nothing here about them talking about Lord of the Rings and what they know about it. It just sounds like a bunch of gobbledygook and drivel. And it's just female directors, oh my god, female directors, oh my god. It's like, who cares? It's like, get some people that know what they're doing, at least. It seems like the people they already had, they know what they're doing, and we continue to hire more people that don't seem to know what they're doing. That'll be all for me for today, though. Thank you all for checking out this video. I appreciate every single one of you for being subscribers and liking and commenting on the videos. Please keep them coming. Keep the interaction up. Appreciate all of you. If you do like the video, like the video. Comment below what you think about all this. Subscribe for more content. As always, I will see you all on the next one. Peace.